Hey guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boomshika. As you can see, my black eye is getting a little bit worse, but that means it's getting better, so no need to worry. Um, it's just a random uh, side effect of something that happened. I hope that you're doing amazing, as I said, and if you guys are interested in supporting me further, you can do that by going to my Patreon link. The link is in the description below, or you can give me a one-off donation at ko-fi, kofi.com slash boomshaka. In this video, I wanted to speak to you guys about a question that a viewer asked me. And I'm going to read the question first because it's a little bit detailed, and then I'm going to speak about it. So basically what she says is, uh, thank you for your videos, they're very informative, really helpful to learn more about the INFJ personality. I was wondering if you've ever made a video about INFJs and their questions. We ask others a lot of questions since they're always truly, uh, since we are always trying to truly know what a person is all about. Some of the questions might be deep and sometimes people tend to think that we're nosy or they even feel offended because our questions are deep. I'm not sure if deep questions intimidate others because they're simply not used to it or they're hiding something because our questions can be raw. I like the question itself. I think it's a great question to ask. I think a lot of us as younger INFJs, when we first started asking a lot of questions, we started feeling confused because a lot of people would take our questions in a negative stride. Instead of being like, yeah, sure, I'm gonna answer your question um, as you know we expect them to, a lot of them would get offended, as, as the viewer said, or they would get upset by our questions, or they would, you know, start insulting us and saying, you know, why are you being so nosy? Why do you care so much? Why do you ask so many questions? Stop asking so many questions. Go and read something or go do something else kind of thing, right? Now, of course, with our parents, I get it. You know, we do, I, I'm sure I asked them so many questions that they were completely annoyed by me. And so that makes sense. Um, but that's obviously just our curiosity as not only as INFJs but as children. Children just love asking questions because they're genuinely curious about everything in the world and they're learning about the world. Um, I think that's something that we lose as adults in general but I think INFJs tend to keep that sense of wonder and curiosity within them and that's the reason I think one of the reasons why um, INFJs are a little bit different from the rest of the personality types because even as adults we tend to keep that you know sense of wonder and therefore we still pretty much act like children when we are even adults right uh, not in a negative way I think it's a positive thing I think I'd rather be a person who keeps that sense of wonder and that sense of curiosity about the world rather than lose it and become cynical and bitter or jaded which, which happens to a lot of people and you know they just forget that we live in a world filled with miracles and just beauty in general and there's so much going on and whoever created this world has created it with such intricate details and so much care and there's so much creativity in it I mean I'm, if you just look at the number of different kinds of butterflies or the number of different kinds of species the number of different kinds of fishes or bugs or insects whatever they might be like there's so much diversity it's as if you know the creator whoever he she it is just you know got a crayon and just started like randomly making things and be like all right you know so this is a species and okay cool this is another species and and this is another one and things like that you know and so that's how i imagine it happening you know a childlike creator sitting there with a crayon uh, or a box of crayons and just making random things and being like, all right, yeah, that's an elephant. I like that. I'm going to put that on, on earth. Or um, that's giraffe. I'm going to make his le his neck really, really, really long. And that's going to be fun for him uh, and for everyone else who looks at him. And that's going to be on earth now. So, you know, I just think of it that way. And I just, I love the idea of the creator having that sense of wonder and childlikeness to him or her. Um, because I don't think anyone who did not have a sense of wonder about the world could have created this world in its intricacies and its beauty and its diversity. But as I said, you know, a lot of us as adults, and I understand it's a difficult world to live in sometimes, 
you know, you're busy with your work and you're busy with uh, making money and really proving to the world that you're a good, um, productive member of society. And so you forget that, you know, you live in this magnificent world and you become jaded or you forget about holding on to that sense of wonder, that sense of childlike curiosity. But in my opinion, no matter what or how people perceive you and your curiosity and your tendency to ask questions, I think you should genuinely hold on to that trait as if you're fighting for your life um, because you will notice and you know, I'm a little bit older probably than a lot of you INFJs who are watching, but I do notice that even despite the fact that I'm an INFJ and despite the fact that I love asking questions and I'm curious about the world, I can very easily slip into a mode of jadedness or cynicism because I'm surrounded by that. You know, I'm surrounded by people who are like, well, yeah, you know, it's just another day, another dollar or uh, things like that. And I just, I just really despise sayings like that. Because they really just kind of remove all of that beauty from the world and just make it down to, oh, I'm just here to make money and prove myself to the world somehow. Which is not what we're here really to do, at least in my opinion. And so don't forget that there's a reason why INFJs ask questions. Now, of course, we ask questions because we're curious about people. Yeah, I mean, and about the world more so. Uh, but yes, we ask questions to people because we're curious about them. We want to know, you know, what makes you tick, what makes you dance, what makes you happy, what makes you cry, things like that. It's just so fascinating to us. Human beings in general fascinate us because we just are fascinated by how many different kinds of reactions there are, right? Like, I mean, I might ask one person, oh, what makes you cry? And they were like, oh, um, when a baby, maybe when a baby cries around me, I cry as well. Uh, or, you know, you might ask another person, they might be like, well, when my stock market goes down or something like that, that's when I cry. <laughs> and so obviously there's so many different kinds of people, so many different kinds of reactions, so many different kinds of answers. And so all of that stuff fascinates us. But also, and I think I've done a video on this in the past where I feel like we use questions as a way of calling people out. So, you know, we'll ask questions to people. Some people will just be called out instantaneously. They'll be like, I'm not going to answer that question. And so, boom, that's done. You know, we're not going to be friends with that person. Because if you can't just answer a simple question, then you're not going to be my friend. Um, but also, you, what is your answer? And using those answers, we call people in or into our circle or out, us, out of our circle. So... If you answer the question in a way where we're like, yeah, you know, that's so fascinating. I'm so excited that you said that. Then we are going to be like, all right, cool. I, I think I can build a friendship with this individual. Whereas, you know, some other person might be like, well, you know, I don't know if I really like this answer that this person gave me. Maybe we're not meant to be friends. Okay. And so obviously there's a lot of different reasons for questioning. And there's a lot of reasons why we ask questions. And if you are interested in being friends with your INFJ, remember that questions is one of the ways that they use to connect to you and to connect to people in general. We don't know how, we don't know very many ways to connect with people. We're not good at connecting with people. We seem like we're very good at it, but we're not. And so one of the main ways that we use in order to connect with people is by asking genuine questions, questions that we really want to know the answers to. We're not just asking questions willy-nilly. We've actually crafted these questions specifically to you so we can learn more about you and then hopefully grow our friendship, our relationship into the future. So please do take care with the questions that we put forth towards you. They're not just random questions. They're important questions to us. And they hopefully, and hopefully you will, you know, give them the attention and the care that they deserve so that our relationship with you can keep on growing in the future and we can become more and more, we can become better friends or better partners or better whatever it might be. Okay. And so I, I really, I really love questions. Questions are my way of learning more about the world, about the people around me, about myself. I ask myself a lot of questions all the time to learn more about myself or to learn more about 
how I think about the world because even now I'm still learning about myself even now I'm like I don't know who I am <laughs> all right I hope this makes sense I hope I was able to answer my answer your question um whoever asked this question and uh, if again if you have any more questions on this particular subject or any other subject please comment below and I shall do a video on it if you're interested in supporting me further you can do that by going to my Kofi link kofi.com slash boomshika and I shall see you guys the next time around. Bye for now.